Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hacienda Rivet here. Today we're going to take a departure and head on south to Peru. And uh, we're going to make a Peruvian recipe, uh, Papas a la Huancaina, which translates to potatoes in the style of Huancayo. Huancayo is a city now, it used to be a town, located in the southern part of Peru, way up in the Andes Mountains. Uh, Lima, the capital of Peru, is located in the northern part up in the Andes and um, they in the late 1800s were building a railroad to join the two. Um, in the area of Huancayo uh, there is a local hot chili pepper um, that's yellow, it's just called ají amarillo. Uh, it's medium hot and uh, the ladies there used it uh, to make the base for their famous sauce. Um, I first got this sauce from uh, Amazon, but I'm fortunate now I can get it locally here at my Latin market. So uh, very easy to make, very tasty. Stick with me and let's get going. The story goes that back in the 1800s when they were building the railroad, uh, the ladies of Huancayo <clears throat> concocted this uh, recipe for their chili sauce. From cheese and dairy and milk and cream and uh, cooked potatoes and sold it to the railroad workers uh, during their lunch breaks and after work ceased for the night. The potatoes uh, and the sauce were such a hit with the railroad workers that um, word spread up and down the railroad as it was being constructed all the way north to Lima and uh, it became so popular that um, the railroad company started serving them at the uh, railroad station in Lima, Peru once the railroad was finished. Now we're going to saute these onions in butter for a few minutes until they become soft and uh, translucent. And it's a testament to how good uh, this dish is that 140 years later it's still hugely popular and absolutely delicious. I've been making this for years and why I haven't made a video earlier I don't know. Alright we've added the uh, cool down onions uh, to the ahi paste now we're going to add the uh, four crumbled saltines uh, about six ounces of uh, evaporated milk and the um, feta cheese crumbles. You can use queso fresco if you'd like uh, but I found out that I kind of like feta cheese in there. It gives it a little more uh, zing, zazz. Anyway, we're going to pull pulse this up into a paste, and then let's get it plated up. All right, so here we have the cooked potatoes and uh, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, lettuce for garnishment. And now we're going to take the sauce and drizzle it all over like this over the potatoes, like it is traditionally served. And you can use as much or as little of this sauce as you'd like. It is absolutely delicious and has a nice zing to it. Okay, and we're gonna put some here because we are not done. Okay, part of the traditional garnishment is black olive, and a and as well they're served with a uh, hard-boiled egg. And there you have it, papas a la huancaina, deliciousness from Peru. Beautiful dish, traditionally served at room temperature or cold as an appetizer or first course. And let me tell you folks, I can tell you it can be a whole meal uh, unto itself if you uh, eat a little bit more. But anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the sauce. <clears throat> this is just a little bit <clears throat> uh, that I took out of the Cuisinart. Mm. It's got a nice buttery onion flavor. The creaminess of the evaporated milk and the cheese are just the firmament and of course the zing from the ahi peppers. Um, they're good. They're medium hot and I would say they're about as hot as a jalapeno. They've got a very, very nice flavor. Anyways, thanks for watching people. Y'all take care.